Hey guys, welcome back to our series on behavioral finance, which deals with how psychology can influence the investor's decision making. Today is part two, and we're gonna be talking about the hindsight bias. Definitely breaking just a little bit to the left. Okay. Yeah, just a little bit to the left. Um, yeah, maybe a little right at the end. Yeah. But definitely left. Left, yeah. Okay. All right, why don't you give it a go? Dude, I, I told you it was breaking right, man. Just like we can convince ourselves of things on the golf course, we can also convince ourselves of things as investors. So what exactly is hindsight bias? This bias is often referred to as the knew it all along effect. It tends to occur in situations where a person believes after the fact that an event was predictable and completely obvious. Whereas in fact, the event could not have been reasonably predicted. This can lead people to conclude that they can accurately predict other events in the future. So he says, how would you like to be rich? So I said, sure. So he lays this book on me. He says, this book will tell me the outcome of every sporting event till the end of the century. All I have to do is bet on the winner and I'll never lose. So I say, what's the catch? So what causes this? One reason is our need to find order in a chaotic world by creating explanations that allow us to believe that events are predictable. While this sense of curiosity is important in many areas, such as science, attempting to find potential links between cause and effect of an event can lead to inaccurate oversimplifications. Another reason is the reconstructive nature of memory. People do not have perfect memories, so when they look back on past events, they tend to fill the gaps with what they want to believe. This can lead us to believe that we knew what was going to happen. Hindsight bias causes one of the most potentially dangerous mindsets that an investor can have. One of these mindsets is overconfidence. This can lead investors to believe that they have superior stock picking skills. Or we see it in other ways. If I've gone through a downturn in the market before. I understand how the market's gonna move from here. It can reflect in sectors if we are a guru in tech. You know, it shows up in all these different areas. Another mindset that this might cause us to have is narrow-mindedness. And this is where, since we believe we understand the outcome of an event, we're gonna focus on that outcome. This leads us to stop thinking about the unexpected outcomes that may occur. What are some examples of hindsight bias. One that's really clear and didn't happen that long ago is the dot-com bubble in the late 90s and early 2000s. A lot of people now look back on it and say, wow, that was obvious. We should have saw that coming. But this is a clear example of hindsight bias because at the time, if, you, if it would have been obvious, then the bubble probably wouldn't have kept growing and growing until it popped. So what do I do from here? Above all, it is of great importance to remain rational when making investment decisions. All decisions must be based on data and analysis, not on memories and emotions. Well, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for listening. I'm Robert Christie at Renew Family Wealth. I hope that you have an incredible day. So I want you to end up on the right side of the fairway here. Right side? Bro, I told you, left side of the fairway. I knew it, I saw that coming.